here now we are going to discuss about this uh, equation here we need to find out dy over dx I mean derivative we need to find out from this equation alright and in this type of implicit equations I already told you that uh, you have to just differentiate both sides you know your left hand side as well as right hand side with respect to x and f after solving you know uh, later you'll get dy over dx in left hand side or right hand side somewhere you'll get a lot maybe you'll be getting that in a lot of terms or you may be getting one at one terms and from that you know at finally you need to separate that dy over dx term one side and rest of this into the another side and finally you can easily calculate from uh, from that dy over the dx I think you, you might have watched uh, some few uh, videos uh, in the uh, in, in previous videos I have already done many right so let's first write our whatever the equation we do have our equation is x square y plus x y square equals to a square. Here a is a constant quantity. So now uh, next step is let's differentiate both sides, left hand side as well as right hand side with respect to x. So it will be uh, d by dx of x square y plus x y square and here d by dx of a square. Right, and in next step, what I can do, like see here, uh, you can use the sum rule. You know, first find out derivative of this, and then derivative of this. So derivative of x square y at one time we'll be doing. Okay, and then after that we'll be finding out the derivative of this quantity. Okay, so plus d by dx of x y square. Now here derivative of a constant quantity a square is a constant quantity that is zero, right? So now look at this now here. Here we are going to have a little bit problem. So here it is x, here it is x. It's okay, but here y is a little bit different, you know. It's not x. So here are two functions, x square, another function is y. You know, I mean two terms are there, x square and y square, which are completely different. So here we need to use the product rule because one thing is multiplying another. I mean one function is multiplying another function right so x square is here one function and y is another function so whenever one function multiply another function we need to use the product rule so let's apply here product rule I'm supposing this is my first right this is my first one uh, first function and this is my second function so in that case it will be like uh, write first uh, first function times derivative of the second function and again second function times derivative of first function all right and now here again you know we have something different here see uh, it is x and x we don't have any problem here is y and here is x so again this x is one and y square is another so it means x is one function y square is another function one function is multiplying another function so we have to use again product rule so I'm again supposing this is my first function and this is my second function y square is my second function so now I will get my first function times derivative of second function again second function plus second function times uh, derivative of the first function derivative of the first function and again equals zero okay so now in next step what we'll be getting x square times dy over dx and plus y and now see uh, here x here x so you can use the power rule and you'll get 2x times dx over dx that's one actually and then here x it is right and here is uh, here is x and here is y so you cannot differentiate with respect to x so first what we have to do we have to differentiate this y square with respect to y and then again since y is not equals to x I mean x and y are different things so we need to differentiate this uh, y also with respect to x and now let's come here this is y square and dx over dx that's one you don't have to write that's going to be now equals to zero and now what we can write further it's x square dy over dx and plus now 2xy plus now here again let's use power rule if you use power rule here you'll get x times 2y times dy over dx plus y square equals to zero and I hope you're remembering our next step our next step is to to uh, write those terms which have dy over dx here see 
this is our dy over dx and if you see here this is our dy over dx so these two terms we need to write together okay so let's write one by one all this shit uh, okay so first I'm writing this term x square dy over dx and then I'm going to write this term that is 2xy dy over dx and rest of these all terms into the another side right so y square and 2xy I'm sending into the another side so y square it will be minus y square and this is plus 2xy so when it will come right hand side it will be minus 2xy now in in, in, in in these two things you know dy over dx and dy over dx is common so let's take uh, dy over dx common and we'll be left with here now x square plus 2xy and here I think we can take common y so minus y will be common come outside then we'll get y plus 2x right and on the side let's see what happens uh, next step now dy over dx I'm keeping this side in left side and I'm sending this whole quantity inside the bracket x square plus 2xy into the another side I'll be getting minus y y plus 2x whole divided now again x square plus 2xy again uh, by the way I think there is no benefit of taking common well minus y y plus 2x and from uh, from denominator also you can take x common so let's write x you'll be left with x plus 2y alright so this is your derivative right you got the dy over dx and the same question was asking us find the derivative you know find dy over dx for this whole and we got minus y uh, what was that minus y y plus 2x y plus 2x and then divided by right whole divided by x x plus 2y and this is our derivative the question was asking for this for this equation all right I hope you understand this question and if there is any problem uh, in understanding this or I may have made uh, I mean some some uh, weakness in explaining properly so you can just comment below this video I will try to explain if there will be any any errors while explaining or some mistakes okay so we'll be meeting um, we'll be meeting in the next video